Hey guys, it's Joshua Budget Mechanic. If you're watching this video, you're probably wanting to replace your battery in your car or just disconnect it safely so that you can work on another part of the car. Or maybe you're just curious about how dangerous these things are. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to properly disconnect and uh, remove your battery, as well as hopefully dispel some fears that a lot of people have about the dangers of car batteries. If you're trying to diagnose if your battery's dead or if you're having car starting problems, check out our other video on how to diagnose that in the link above. All right, so let's jump right into the danger. A lot of people look under the hood, they see this thing, big red wires attached to it, looks like it can electrocute you. Here's the truth, can't, even if I lick my thumbs. Not gonna electrocute you. The battery in your car is a 12 volt battery. That's relatively low voltage, which means it can't pass through your body like touching both sides of an outlet in the wall would do. So if I'm touching them, the, right now, voltage can't pass through my body. Even if I touch it with just one hand, it can't even make it through my hand because my body's not a good enough conductor. So it's totally safe for me to be touching these. Similar to a nine volt battery. This is only three volts more than this tiny little nine volt, which you're probably more familiar with. I mean, the only way you can get something out of this is if you lick it, you get a little tingle. If you had a way to like lick this battery, it might tingle you in the same way, but it's not gonna electrocute you. So though it's low voltage, these batteries are high amperage, which basically for us means if we were to touch these terminals together using wire or something metal like a wrench, you're gonna get a lot of sparks and potentially a lot of heat very quickly. So I'm just gonna touch them really quick right now. You can see big sparks. And if I were to leave that on there long enough, the metal might actually fuse and you'd have a complete circuit and that could be a pretty bad and hot situation. So another example of this that I've seen is when people are jump starting their car from another battery and they cross the cables. So the positive from one goes to the negative another and basically completing the circuit directly. And I've seen jumper cables melt and the clamps get super hot, which is bad. Um, you might get burned, might ruin your cables and your battery, but again, not gonna stop your heart or electrocute you. So another potential danger of the battery is actually labeled right on the battery. Uh, there's battery acid in here. Gotta be careful, especially if you're going in there to check your water levels, pop in the caps, you want to have some glasses on, maybe some gloves. Don't get it on your skin or in your eye. Um, same with the carrying the battery around. You don't want to dump it on its side because it will actually leak out of the top. Um, not all batteries have the actual liquid um, acid in them, depending on the construction of your battery, but best not to take a chance. Okay, now that we've discussed potential dangers with batteries, I'm going to show you how to disconnect and or remove a battery from a vehicle safely. So when you get in here, and you wanna do some electrical work, you wanna make sure you disconnect the battery first. Or if your battery's dead and you need a new one, obviously you gotta remove everything and take it out. You always wanna start with the negative terminal. And this is because, just like we talked about before, um, if, you were to connect, if you were to connect these two uh, terminals, you'd get heat and sparks. This negative terminal is connected to the body of the car, so essentially the whole car is the negative terminal. So if I go to disconnect my positive first and my wrench touches the body of the car, AC line, this bracket, it's gonna do the same shorting and sparking as it did before. So what you wanna do is remove the negative terminal first, because if I'm touching the negative and I accidentally bump something with my wrench, no problem. So I'm gonna disconnect my negative and now the whole car is basically disconnected from the battery. So if I'm gonna work on my alternator or something else, all I need to do is remove that negative terminal and I'm good to go. If I need to remove the battery for replacement, obviously I'm gonna to need to disconnect the positive as well. And then every car is gonna have a different way that the battery is actually fastened down. You just have to figure out what that is and remove it. And then you can lift your battery out and hopefully not throw out your back. All right, you got your old battery out. Now when you go to put the new battery in, just attach the terminals in reverse order from when you took it out. So put that positive on first, finish with the negative. Uh, again, positive side will be labeled usually like positive or POS, and then have a plus sign somewhere around that terminal. Often the positive terminal has like a red cap on it as well. Hopefully after watching this video, you're a little less intimidated by your battery and uh, you know how to handle it safely. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and happy wrenching.